Alrighty, hello out there, everybody. I have here a new ROM brought to us by the Platypus on XDA. He also has an account with the MicMic forums, which is where you'll find the actual download for this ROM. <clears throat> Today, he has released a preview of Android 4.0.4 with HTC Sense 4.0 for the Evo 4G from Sprint. Now this is a port from the HTC One S and so far it doesn't have anything working as far as data for internet use or synchronization or anything like that. So as you can see I'm going through the initial setup and I'm just keeping everything off because none of it's going to work. Uh, it prompts you to s sign into Dropbox if you have one you have all these options for things to sign into. Uh, you can transfer your stuff, meaning you can move your contacts to your new phone if you're upgrading from another phone for whatever reason. Uh, you can set the date. I'll go ahead and set today's date of May 13th, 2012. It's got that right. Time zone. I am actually on Eastern Time Zone. I doubt it's going to find the city since it doesn't have internet, but I'll go ahead and set the time. Let's see, it is, god I don't even know what time it is, so we'll forget that for now too. Let's click finish so I can show you guys the layout. Uh, first thing you notice is you get this repetitive error of the HTC input not working, that's just the keyboard. Uh, the platypus has already promised that he's going to start working on the keyboard. And uh, in order, he's going to do keyboard, Wi-Fi, and then somebody else is going to be working on the data. Uh, I'll put his name in an annotation because I can't remember it at the moment. But uh, he's going to be working on getting data working because he has an actual Evo. So you can see it's loading up. This is HTC Sense 4.0. It's got that dock down at the bottom for uh, Android 4.0, as you'll know, as you'll notice. And uh, you can see this is an HTC Evo, and it already up and load. Sorry, I'm trying to charge it some because the battery's almost dead, and my charger's a little bit messed up. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, looks like it's almost to the home screen. Once it loads up, it's pretty snappy. Uh, this is his preview build, so this is like before alpha, which is obviously before beta. So no, I don't want to show quick tips. Uh, you can see, sliding through the screens, really easy. Um, tap to set new album. I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, all photos, why not? Okay, so there's just some some shots of stuff off my camera. Um, let's see. Wow, that album artwork's messed up. That's I Won't Back Down by Tom Petty, and it's showing the artwork for Black Eyed Peas. I don't even know if I have any of their music. Um, so you can see it's on the 24-hour clock. It's got this dock down here interchangeable items um, if you want to make a folder it's got a folder right here on the home screen if you want to make a folder simply drag one icon onto another icon until a little gray box appears around it and let it go and you open it up and you have a folder you can name the folder uh, this comes with all the default apps that the HTC One S comes with and this is off a of clean installation I had it installed earlier and I uninstalled, or I had this ROM installed earlier and I went back to my other ROM, but the video I made with that one wasn't very good, so I decided I'd go back and try again. Now, apparently SMS is working, so I'm going to try that, but the keyboard is not, so, well, about half the time the keyboard isn't working. So we'll try it again. Come on. Let's see. There it is. There's the keyboard. So you can type a little bit, and you'll notice here any second now it's going to kill itself. Yep. 
since input has stopped working. Now I'm going to move that little address bar up out of the screen so hopefully you won't be able to tell the number that I'm typing. Put my hand over it. Oh, since it input stopped working. Well, if you can deal with the keyboard, SMS does work. As far as in-call volume and basically any sound whatsoever, none of that works. Um, I'll go ahead and show you the software version. <clears throat> you have to excuse me, I'm fighting a cold. Um, let's see, software information. You can see Android version 4.0.3. HTC Sense version 4.0, all that good stuff. Uh, Sense input has stopped working. Um, let's see. Uh, one thing new to Sense 4.0 was going to be the app switcher, which comes with Ice Cream Sandwich, but uh, HTC has their own version of it. And I can't figure out how to get that to work on this build. I've tried holding the home button and a couple other things. So if somebody knows, just comment on the video or something, and I'll put an annotation on there of how to do it. Uh, one thing, it's really smooth, especially for a preview build. I mean, hardly anything works, but the screen seems really snappy. And then with all these apps running, I have 190 megabytes free, which is about average for me when I kill every app on the regular Sprint software or almost any other custom ROM. You hit stop all and then refresh. It's got about 270 megabytes free of RAM which is just incredible. I mean you can see this does much better at managing the memory and everything. And it's just all around amazing software. Uh, hopefully the Platypus and a couple other developers will get something working soon to where we can have uh, the keyboard will be stable and then we can make calls, send and receive calls, and listen to music and all that stuff that we want to be able to do, but can't as of yet. Uh, the headphones do work, or it at least notifies that they're plugged in. It does come with Beats Audio built in, but I'm sure full kernel support of that will take some time. Uh, camera does not work, but I'm sure they'll get that working pretty soon because it is working on other ice cream sandwich ROMs. Uh, the Platypus was the first one to put ice cream sandwich out for the Evo 4G, I think. I remember back in uh, maybe late November or December of 2011. And, uh, God, my voice is just dying. Um... So I'm going to have to cut this video short probably because I am losing my voice. Uh, all in all, this is a very good ROM. It seems really stable other than that keyboard thing. I haven't had any force closes. Uh, it says it has EVDO connection, but it's it's not there. I mean, I'll open up the web browser just to show you real quick. doesn't work. Uh, it tries to load Google.com and it can't. So... It's a work in progress for sure. Actually, it's a work in progress to say the least. But uh, hopefully sometime in the near future, we'll get calls and things working and the keyboard working and all that. Maybe tonight. Uh, let, me get, let me know what you think of this video, guys. And uh, I'll put a link in the description to the Platypus's thread on XDA where you can download and try this ROM out for yourself. Uh, your phone must be rooted. Keep in mind, this is a preview build and nearly nothing works. So let's try to not clog up the forums with unnecessary questions. He's probably going to have a list of what works and what doesn't work up there pretty soon. So I'd go by that list as far as anything. So thanks guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and hope you can enjoy this software soon.